and was a fashion trailblazer whereas Kate follows royal rules with practical style. The Kate effect is huge and can alter what's currently deemed as fashionable, but Princess and was a trailblazer when she was younger with her style. Princess and may be the Princess Royal, but she is the queen of re-wearing her clothes and is arguably the most underrated style icon of the British royal family. When she was younger, she made waves in the fashion industry with her dynamic silhouettes, bright colors and prints. Kate, Princess of Wales, on the other hand, might have a huge influence on the sale of clothes, but she's rarely seen wearing anything too divisive. Princess and still wears the same clothes she did when she was younger with her much mocked time warp hairdo and sports sunglasses. Looking back, the tweed loving Princess Royal always managed to quietly capture the zeitgeist without straying into fashion victim territory, earning her the status of a style icon. And was not afraid to challenge what fashion interpreted as being popular or the next best thing, and she certainly pushed the boundaries when it came to royal fashion protocol, wearing skirts that would be considered too risque for the younger royals today. In comparison, Kate, Princess of Wales seems to play it safe when it comes to clothes, very rarely stepping out in divisive colors, patterns or prints and styles. Express.co.uk spoke exclusively to Susie Nelson, founder of Modes and more about the two royal ladies' fashion. Susie described Princess Anne's style when she was younger as, rather like a younger version of her mother, elegant with a fondness for bright colors, matching accessories, statement hats and bold patterns. As for what elements made Princess and a style icon when she was younger, the fashion expert revealed, and has always been slim with a great figure for tailored clothes. She likes bold colors royals do have to be noticed, and some of her most iconic outfits were the fun florals of the 1960s and 1970s. Princess and was arguably more daring with her style when she was younger, compared to what Kate wears nowadays. Susie discussed whether this was because the Princess Royal wasn't center stage, royal clothes are a sort of uniform with rules laid down by the late queen, no short hemlines, flyaway fabrics, etc., but she did embrace the playful elements of fashion in her youth, such as flower power and 80s ruffles and bows. As a practical royal, she recycles her clothes and is keen on UK manufacturing, so these investment pieces from decades ago still make appearances, which is a wonderful example to set as a trailblazer for sustainable fashion. In comparison, Kate's style is elegant practical chic, with a fun edge shown in her taste for polka dots and fancy sequins, according to Susie. The fashion expert spoke about Princess Kate's go-to-pieces in her wardrobe, the sophisticated coat dress, bold colors, and a body-skimming, not clinging silhouette. She's great at mixing high street and high end, often finishing off her outfit with a pair of Zara earrings. When comparing the two royal lady styles, Susie explained why Kate might play it safer compared to Princess and when she was her age. Royal clothes are a sort of uniform with certain rules and sensitivities, Susie's explained. She often respectfully wears local designers on foreign visits for example Gucci in Italy, Dior in France etc., and her streamlined tailoring is much more practical than floaty, flyaway fabrics. As for why Kate doesn't wear more high-end fashion pieces, Susie explained, some things from the catwalk just won't work on a royal, just as in real life. Their look has to be classic yet on trend to be acceptable for all ages and tastes. Super size bags, open toe shoes, cleavage revealing items etc. are a no-go of course.